everybody welcome to my channel so I was doing um, an update on King Vaughn's reading and you know I thought I started thinking about um, Young Happy and um, L.A. Capone I'm gonna do a, a video for L.A. Capone as well they're two of two um, rappers in Chicago, Illinois that were killed very, very young and had so much talent. Um, I actually um, really, really liked both of their um, styles, the way they presented it, et cetera, et cetera. You know, um, um, in my King Von readings, I kind of touched on how I became acquainted with the music and it's something that, you know, I like to listen to when I'm cleaning and stuff. Um, but I got um, introduced to it because of the Kanika Jenkins case and and then it got me interested in that. The culture and the drill and gang scene in Chicago and how horrible it was there. So there's a lot. But, um, Young Pappy is, his real name was Shaquan Thomas. He was born on May the 10th, 1995. He was a tourist. Um, he was from the north side of Chicago. He was a member of the Gangster Disciples from a set known as the Insane, Insane Cutthroat Gangsters, um, PBG. On May the 29th, 2015, he was shot in the back twice while standing on North Kenmore Avenue around 1.30 a.m. He was only 20 years old at the time of his death. So, um, you know, they think that it was gang related. I'm sure it might have been, but uh, I had seen a video kind of like of the footage of him walking and I just feel like the kind of lifestyle that he was living he would not have turned his back on someone he didn't trust so I'm kind of suspicious with kind of how he was shot maybe it was somebody that he trusted so I just want to see you know who shot him or you know who killed him and like what led up to the shooting and you know just kind of like any information spirit or young pappy would like for us to know you know about his murder so let's get to it guys spirit guys guardian angels please join me wrap me in your white light Stay safe from anything negative or anything that wishes me harm spirit guys will you please show me with the tarot who killed Young Pappy? Can you please show me with the tarot? Who is the person that killed Young Pappy? Who killed Young Pappy? Well, that one wanted to come out. The Nine of Swords in reverse. Um, the judgment in reverse, the justice card, feeling vindicated, hmm. oh. and getting what they wanted, wish granted, interesting, okay, um, can you please show me with the care spirit, what led up to, um, Young Pappy's death. What are the events that led up to um, Young Pappy's death the night that he got killed? What are the events on the night of his death that led to him being killed? What went on? Six of Cups.
the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Death card in reverse, and the High Priestess. Interesting. All right. Um, the next question, Spirit. Um, or can you please show me what what would Young Pappy or Spirit like for um, us to know about his death? What information would Young Pappy or Spirit like for us to know about his death? So we have the King of Wands here. That pops out. The Five of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Interesting. Um, I'll do two more. The Three of Wands in Reverse, and the Hierophant. And on the bottom, we have the Knight of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so with the Nine of Swords in reverse, this shows fear, anxiety, um, being very stressed. It can also indicate mental issues, mental health issues. Um, it can indicate fears, um, you know, and being responsible um, for causing someone else to, um, pass away, something like that, something to happen to somebody else that caused him, uh, regret and remorse. <clears throat> and, you know, he had to take action to, um, so that they wouldn't get away with you know what they were doing i think they were taking advantage of um some type of female in his life um and he had to take action right away um because somebody else was being blamed and punished for something that was his fault and it caused them to become trapped by somebody, um, is what I'm feeling. Um, with the Justice card, um, they, it's uh, the consequences of his actions. Cause and he was the cause and effect for this to happen. Um, he fell right into what they knew he was going to do. And he came with the Nine of Cups. They got what they wanted. You know, their their dreams became a reality. Um, it's a time of happiness and fulfillment for them. It shows they triumphed. And they are successful and got what, and achieved what they wanted. It signifies that they gained fame, recognition, and acclaim due to um, young Pappy's death. And it gave them self-confidence and a high self-esteem. It can also indicate that there was a celebration or some type of party that this girl was at. And um, they were promoting it. To trap him. Like, they, she was there. She got drugged, I think, it, it seems like. Someone that he loved and he cared about. For Pappy's actions. Um, he was shown this, it's feeling like. And he, you know, because now with the Six of, you know, the Six of Cups, what happened? This is the past here. It's a card of the past. Um, this is, could it could indicate like um, 
abuse in the childhood. It's a card of family. Um, you know, your family, someone you grew up with. Um, and it show, and then the two of pentacles shows that he's feeling overwhelmed. And he's overextending himself and having to drop whatever plans, whatever, whatever he had going on, he had to drop it because he needed to go and deal with some physical illness or injury that um, this woman had, whoever it is that they use because they use someone. I'm feeling that very, very um, strongly it's coming through. Um, this occurred because he was not willing to um, let go of the past and um, or somebody wasn't willing to let go of the past. Um, it could be a past death. It could be something that Pappy did in the past. It's something that Pappy did that caused this woman to become trapped and he had to go because you know basically to move forward for in order for her to be able to move forward and to save her um, who had become stuck and trapped He had to step outside of his comfort zone and be isolated. Because with the High Priestess card, um, he was basically brought to a place that where he wasn't fully knowledgeable of who was there. And a place that was outside of his comfort zone where he lacked any support. Um... Because he he needed to save this woman, or that's what he went to do. Um, he was unable to properly defend himself. There's, you know, there's the woman. This woman is the key to the mystery. This woman is the key. This woman's well-being is the key. Someone used an important woman that he cared, loved about, grew up with, whatever, that had mental issues and they caused her great, you know, they probably did some very bad things to this woman and showed him on video. And he uh, rushed in very, very headstrong because here with the King of Wands, it's, an, it's a masculine authority figure and leader, um, and it's him trying to aid in resolving a, some type of dispute that's going on, helping her. Um, he, someone is promoting this, so this is somebody promoting this action that he is taking. He is being inspired to help others. Um, it's so, he's expanding, he's going forward. He's sorry, I'm not a thing over. Um, he's expanding, he's going forward, he's going to where they want them to go. Um, in the Five of Swords, this card talks about a falling out or a disagreement and conflict. So, you know, he goes into a situation where there's bad blood um, and the situation has turned sour and he has become isolated causing um, others to like lose faith in him and keep their distance possibly um, he tried to defend himself because he felt threatened and challenged. Um, it shows that someone that he was competing with to be successful, 
uh, saw him as a threat and wanted to win at all costs, which caused these events. And despite, you know, his best, best efforts, Pappy was beaten and came out the loser. Um, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Swords shows us that they use the health of one of his family members or some other important female in his life in order to lure him where they could get him alone, like I said, because they knew that he was very quick to action, action and he runs in head first without, you know, fully thinking things through. They caused him to be unaware of the potential challenges and issues that would stand in his way from helping her and the three of wands is the delays and blockages that popped up in his path and it also having to wait on others in order to complete a task you know he wasn't prepared for the challenges that he faced and then the hair font it speaks to you know being guided to where this person wanted him to be. This Hierophant is, you know, he's the person that set out, they're connected to each other, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. The Hierophant is guarding the steps that lead to the High Priestess, you know? Um, and he's laughing in this picture here, and that is exactly what <laughs> The person that got him where he wanted him um, was by relying on his um, family ties, his family traditions, his love for his family, um, and they blocked him from being able to get to who he wanted to protect, the high priestess. Definitely that. Um, I hate that. It's interesting, though. Um, the King of Wands as well. Um, so I'm feeling like, um, it's probably something from the past that caused them to, um, isolate the girl, get the girl there, and rely on Pappy's love for this person and his family obligations and, you know, how connected he was to his family. He, they relied on that, his love, to lure him to a situation where he could not protect himself because they're pussies. Excuse my language, but that's exactly what that is. I'm feeling like they, like did some bad things to a woman in his life. I don't know if she died as well. If she didn't, she's traumatized, I'm telling you. <sighs> this is a pretty heavy energy. But he, you know, uh, he probably did some bad things, but I'm going to tell you, uh, I know light when I see it, and he had a good, good heart deep down at least for the people that he loved he he loved them fully and he was very very family oriented and very very protective of the people that he loved and they knew what they needed to do in order to get him where they wanted him and they did and he did and you know that's it's very, very appalling that they did such a thing and they stooped that low and really put, you know, someone else at risk that didn't deserve it, that wasn't even involved in it, that had mental health issues, in my opinion. I really feel that strongly. Um, this person wasn't able to completely function by themselves. And they were easy to get where they, you know, they had to 
he wasn't as easy. He got away, you know. He actually was targeted a few times and kept getting away, kept getting away. Well, instead of us chasing you, we got to change that. You come to us. We're not even trying to find you. You're coming to us. So, yeah, that's what I see. All right, guys. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.